PowerPoint 2010 looks a little different from older versions of PowerPoint in terms of where some of the commonly used tasks are located. Just like in their other Office 2010 products, the taskbar has been replaced with the ribbon and within the ribbon are various tabs where you'll be able to find various tools that you would use for a PowerPoint presentation. So right now we're on the Home tab and in the Home tab we have our options to change our fonts we have the ability to change font colors. You'll notice over here we have our cut, copy, and paste section. We have our alignment features. And if we move over to the right, we can insert additional text boxes, add arrows, add shapes. And then if we come back over on the home tab over here to where it says new slide, one of the main differences in PowerPoint on this version is if we click the new slide tab we actually get to choose which type of slide we want to add next in our presentation so normally they give us the title slide for the first slide and, and then a title on content for the second slide but you can actually choose other options as to what kind of slide you want to insert next and you could add a blank one and actually manually make it on your own or you could choose one of the ones that's provided for you and these little dotted boxes just indicate various text boxes that they pre-created for you and then they have some other options down here that you can choose from so you can pick whatever slide you want and then it will go to your next slide it will be slide two and then you can click inside any of the text boxes and add your content and even though you've chosen a slide that's been pre-created for you, you still have the ability to adjust any of the text boxes that have been provided for you. And this way you can add images, pictures, movies, etc. to whatever it is you would like to put on this particular page. So this is the Home tab. And in future tutorials, we'll go over some of the other tabs that you see here at the top. So you'll be able to insert your clip art and movies and sounds and add slide transitions and slide animations as well. And we'll also go over how you can save your presentations, packaging it for a CD or saving it to email to somebody. There are a lot more options to choose from in this new version.